Welcome to Karaganima National School. We hope that our visit here this evening will bring back many happy memories for you, days when you enjoyed being here as a pupil. At least we hope you did. And for those of you who weren't pupils here, well, Karaganima National School was built way back in 1935. So if there are any local historians tuning in this evening, maybe you can start thinking. We're almost 50 years of age. We have 39 pupils on the rolls and two teachers. Our teachers, um, two very dedicated, hard-working people, we are very pleased to have Mr. John Kelleher from Kilimatra and Mrs. Vera Halloran of McCroom. And I suppose as we mention Kilimatra, we cannot forget that last term we also had in here as a substitute teacher, Miss Margaret Deneen. So Margaret, if you're tuning in, we send you our fondest greetings from all of us here in Karaganima and maybe someday in the future when our population increases a little, we might bring you back as a third teacher. So, maybe now instead of just listening to me, we'll just go inside and meet the pupils themselves and listen to them as they sing and dance and entertain you a little bit. So we'll go right inside now. We come first to the junior classrooms, the infants first and second class, and of course their good teacher, Vero Halloran from McCroom. And I think they're going to sing for us. Would you like to sing? Okay, so maybe for our first song we'll we take off.
Wasn't that lovely? And now we're going to have one man singing his own, David McCarthy. He's a, a lovely singer. So David, you come up here now and you'll sing a little song for us. I'll give you the mic into your audience. I have a big teddy, just seven years old. He walks and he talks and he does what he's told. He eats up his porridge before it gets cold. And Mammy says Teddy is as good as gold. When I wash my Teddy, I soap on his toes, his little black fingers and his button nose. I rub him and scrub him until his face glows and off to his bed my good teddy bear goes. Very good, David. Give him a good round of applause. Wasn't that lovely? <laughs> Thanks, David. And now we have Norma Welsh. And Norma's going to sing for us. Good girl, Norma. The toffee train of Candyland is made from lots of sweets. The doors are bright brown naughty bars with sticks of rocks for seats. The wheels are shiny brandy balls. It runs on ginger beer. It bubbles and it blows up froth when facing in top gear. A jelly baby shoots a tune when all the train is full. The chocolate engine hops and bobs as it begins to pull. Twenty tiny toffee trucks along a licorice track. On past the ice cream signal box to biscuit land and back. Thank you, Norma. And now we're going for, from the solo to a duet. So Martin and Martin, isn't it? Yeah, so if you come up here, we'll give you the microphone and you'll entertain us all. Jolly rocking horse, I bought him yesterday. His shoes are bright, his tail is white, his mane is silver grey. Dear up, naked horse, he rocking to and fro. Dear up, naked horse, he go, go, go. I love. Jolly rocking horse, he shines just like gold. He's bright and strong, his wings are long. He gallops with his toad. She up, licking horse, he rocking to and fro. She up, licking horse, she go. Wasn't that lovely? And now we're going to one of our smaller pupils, and now we're going to have Linda. Linda Kelleher, that's the good girl. And Linda's going to recite for us, isn't it? A greeting. I want to say good morning to a little furry bunny. He sat beside his doorway, for the day was bright and sunny. But, oh, I grieve to tell you, he would not stay to play today. He turned his tail and bobbed it and quickly ran away. And another recitation. This time it's Margaret Lucy. So Margaret comes to the microphone. My mother, who taught my infant lips to pray, to love and serve God every day, to walk in wisdom's pleasant way. My mother, who ran to help me when I fell, and would some pretty story tell, or kiss the place to make it well. My mother, how could I ever cease to be affectionate and kind to thee, 
Who was so very kind to me? My mother. And oh, the thought I cannot bear. And if God pleases my life to spare, I trust I shall reward that care, my mother. Give a good round of applause. Give a good round of applause. And now for a final recitation, and this time it's Gerald McCarthy. Good man, Gerald. The donkey. I'm not very big, but my ears stick up straight. I'm grey and I'm stubborn, and I often come late. I can't say a word, but I just pray and her. I live in a stable and my food is fresh raw. And yet long ago, on that first Christmas morning, the little Lord Jesus beside me was born. Very, very good, wasn't he? Very, very good. And now we're going to go to the smaller children, to the infants, the senior and junior infants, and they're going to sing together for us, aren't they? No. We're going to recite first. Right.
Okay, are we ready? Okay. Are you on? I love riddles. Will someone tell me a riddle? Who knows a good riddle? <coughs> Sheila, you have a good riddle, have you? Well, it has three legs and it cannot walk. Three legs? And it cannot walk? Mm-hmm. Does anyone know the answer to that one? David, what is it? A yard. A yard. <laughs> Very good. Anybody else got a riddle for us? Michael? What would happen if you poured um, a kettle of boiling water down a rabbit's burrow? My goodness, what would happen if you poured a kettle of water? Hot water. Hot water down a rabbit's burrow? The rabbit jump up. The no. rabbit jump up? No, hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. <laughs> Very good. Anybody else got one? <coughs> Anyone, Kevin? No. What Joey? What is <coughs> 12 legs? 12 legs? Anyone? <coughs> what is 12, 12 legs? <coughs> Brendan, do you know the answer? Yes? Too hard. Margaret? Two horses. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> two horses and two jackets. Two horses and two jackets. Very, very good. Okay. Um, okay. So maybe we we'll start here near the front. Who's this big man here? What's your name? Michael Welch. You're Michael Welch? Yeah. And where does Michael Welch live? Um, just that. Just at the end of the footpath. At the end going of the down, footpath? Going down the hill. Yeah. How would I get to your house from here, Michael? I'd have to go out the door, would I? Yeah. And how would I do then? You go, you go out the gate and walk over to the footpath, and when you go down the hill, you turn up there. Turn up and I'd find this, right. And who's this little girl? Karen. Karen, isn't it? Karen Roach, isn't it? Yeah. And Karen hates school, is that right? Do you like school, Karen? Yeah. You do, don't you? Yeah. And who's this big man beside you? What's your name? Martin Keller. This is Martin Keller, isn't it? And does Martin love going to school? Yeah. What do you like about it, Martin? All the friends, is it? And plenty of company, isn't it? And plenty of people to play with. And there's a big man back here, and his name is Jeremy. Jeremiah, isn't it? Yes, father. And where does Jerry live? I live in Nakrahin. Nakrahin, is that a great place, isn't it? Yes, father. And Jerry loves school. Yes, father. Do you? Why? Because I meet all the children, and I and I learn things from the mistress. Do you learn things too? You do. Yes, exactly. father. And this is Sheila, isn't it? Yes, father. Sheila, Mori, isn't it? Yes. And why does Sheila like coming to school? Because you meet all your friends and you like your teacher and she gives you nice lessons and sometimes she gives you no lessons. And sometimes she gives you, that's the best, isn't it? Yes, father. You get no lessons? No, And who's this man here then? John, John isn't it? John McCarthy. John McCarthy, right. Isn't that right? Yes, father. What's John going to be when he's a big man? Huh? A, cap- a carpenter. A carpenter? Yes, father. What do carpenters do? Build houses. Build houses, do they? They make all kinds of nice things, don't they? And who will be over here, is this? Maura. The biggest girl in the school, isn't it? And she's Maura, isn't it? She's a great girl. And what age is Maura? Five years. Five years of age, isn't that nice? She's a great girl. And over here, this is Maria, is it? Yes, father. Maria O'Leary, isn't it? Yes, father. And Maria's brother is? Anthony. Anthony. Is he, is he sick at the moment? Yeah. He's better, isn't he? Yes, Ah, he's better again. And the big girl here? Norm, isn't it? Yes, father. And Norm is an awful rascal, isn't she? <laughs> yes, father. Who's the biggest rogue in the castle? Is it Norm at all? Is it Norm? <laughs> Who's the biggest rogue here? David, is it? No, father. Who do you think is the biggest rogue, Michael? <coughs> ah. Who's the biggest rogue in the castle? Jerry. Jerry Reardon, is it? <laughs> we all agree. Yes, Why do you say he's the biggest rogue? <coughs> hmm? Jokes. He says a lot of jokes, does he? Yes, Father. Can I think of a joke for us, Jerry? Any funny joke? Brendan! How does Brendan say? Huh? Anyone got a funny joke, no? Why did the, what did the farmer what say when he, when he saw the cows praying? What did the farmer say when he saw the cows praying? <laughs> cows don't pray. Cows don't say it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. How did he say, Linda? Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, isn't that good? Anyone else got someone? Karen has a joke. What was the farmer's name when he saw the judge in fire? 
What did the farmer say when he saw the church on fire? Oh, I see. What did he say right now? Oh, holy smoke. Oh, holy smoke, is it? What is 18 legs? What is 18 legs? Anybody know? What is 18 legs? Yeah. Anybody? Jerry, you tell us. We don't three know. Ha- three horses and three jockeys. Three horses and three jockeys. Oh, goodness. You're going beyond. I can't keep up to you at all. Is Martin a joke? Stand up. What is six legs and two hands? <laughs> six legs and two hands. Someone tell me. What is six legs and two hands? Well, we haven't a clue. You must tell us. A horse and rider. A horse and a rider. <laughs> Brendan, what are you going to be when you're a big man? A farmer. And what will you do when you're a farmer? What do farmers do? Work. Work hard, is it? And what are you going to be when you're a big girl? I don't know. We don't know yet. No. So you have a long time to think, haven't you? Yeah. And who is this big man over here in the corner? He's a great boy too, isn't he? Yeah. And he loves coming to school, isn't that right? Yeah. He's a great boy, isn't he, Timothy? And who's this man over here? Connor, is it? Isn't that right? Yeah. And what's Connor going to be when he's a big man? A farmer. A farmer. We've got a lot of farmers, haven't we? What will you be? I don't know. Don't know yet. And Linda? I don't know. What'll Niall be when he's big? A, a carpenter. A carpenter. We have a carpenter and a farmer. Yeah, Sheila? A nurse, maybe. A nurse, maybe. Oh, I see. What'll I be when I'm big, I don't know. A priest! Will I be a priest when I'm big? Yes, I probably will. I probably will. Anyone give a guess? What age is Jerry? Yeah? Seven. What age am I? A hundred. A hundred? Well, um. Anybody give a guess, Martin? Two. Two. Carol, what age am I? Both. What age am I? Fifty. Ah. Fifty. About fifty am I? Yeah. yeah. You're very nice to me. I think we'll stop now. You're saying such nice things about me, we'll have to stop. Yes, Sixty. Sheila? Sixty. We'll definitely stop now. And now we come to the senior classroom, to the third, fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth classes. But of course, the smaller children followed us in. They weren't happy to stay alone, so they're with us in the background. But right beside me here, I have the principal and master, Master Kelleher. Uh, Master Kelleher, um, can you tell us, are you long here? Uh, I came in in April 1967, Father. 1967, and since then you have been putting up with this bunch here? I have, I have. Well, the majority of them are okay. I enjoy being here. Of course, we have a few rogues, I suppose, thrown in, but we have to put up a doors now. We have a few rogues. Well, we, we won't pursue that line because we might all get lynched, would we? <laughs> Are there a few rogues here? No, Father. No, Father. <laughs> okay. Will you do something for us? Yes, Father. We'd love it. Will you sing a song for us? Yes, Father. Okay, off you go. Wasn't that lovely? But now I'm afraid I have lost my job because there are two beautiful ladies here who are going to act as comp here for the remainder of our program. So I'm going to hand you over to Anne Welsh and Joan Lynch and they're going to do a lovely job. Two beautiful young girls. Will you give them a big round of applause?
the tell the tell me men's fields of the future. And who's going to start for us? I'm Good girl. Next now we have Tommy Healy and James Keller and they're going to recite a poem for us. And Tommy's going to explain a bit about it first. Show piece of Philiukta a cum shana we're done. Phila on a car will the bat a Wugu gay in Malavuna Octa Conic Shay and in a scatter or fag for a war da hail Tasha Kurha a willy gobnathan in Malavuna Shay on Tanum a ta or on dawn shop na cool on tea Ta tear an og or cool on tea Tear alling twin kela Look her a cost like shoon the slee. Gan bogor her, na lena. Gan beer la cot na gelga. Ak fast and cloak er got dream, satir shall train a kela. Is louter tanger er cool on tea, nor he gain arak asop. Is ta she shoots the cranish. Ta cat gown, a sal chicken. Is lack a ween vahelok. Is skyer moor dove mer now it's a tear. A dranna leg a cana. Is cat a coon a grainer. So coon ye hear ta bong dravi is own to she on tea lawn. Queen lore, book lee, shen hat a tea, is trumpet ball of nata, is kittle bon margeon. Is own a hagan a teen carey, gonefa, twin a kela. Ta grail a cot la cool on tea, is bead a year egg derker, er cool gock tea in airing. The volume of our cool and tea, so Dorhot, good dinner. Go waking on our cool galley on Talavin, Shinesop, is a in a focal lenta. Thanks. <laughs> Next, now we have Noel McCarthy, who's going to play a tune on the accordion for us. Ready, Noel? <laughs> Now we've got the Roach sisters and they're going to dance real for us and they'll be accompanied by Connie Welsh.
Anish big Steve on a more cool gang to a shape piece of Felix Dagging Shop piece of Felix the a cool more a shore or dawn on to rock a sanum door Eastlish Nahini Connor in our the air and ground Eastlish Nahini Connor Tan to rock on a mock ling egg shoes of park Neil Gwen off airing on a mock ling egg shoes of park Tan log a bra. Feet na blahan a galeer, no nini agus fair barn. Feet na blahan a galeer, knock ye the talk a hauling. Next, we're going to have Sinead singing a song. She's going to sing Do You Know Dolls. Dilly no do so dos, dilly no do so dee, dilly no do so do so do so dilly no do so dee. Come me to some sous, come me to some pasta, come me to some sous, the sous is to cushionu some more. Dilly no do so dos, dilly no do so dee, dilly no do so do so do so dilly no do so dee, dilly no do so dos, dilly no do so dee. Dilly no dow so dow so dow so dilly no dow so dee. Next now we have three more boys playing the accordions for us. Timothy, Anthony and James Kaler. Mass is going to sing a song for us now and we're all dying to find out what it is because he kept it a secret from us all day. (laughs) 
Oh, if I had the wings of a swallow, I would travel far over the sea. Then a rocky old road I would follow to a spot that is heaven to me. When the sun sinks to rest away down in the west, there I'd build my little nest in that place I love best. In that dear little town in the old county down, it will linger way down in my heart. Though it never was grand, still it's my fairy land. Such a wonderful world is set apart. Oh, my Ireland of dreams, you are with me, it seems. And I care not for fame or renown. Like the black sheep of old, I'll return to the fold. Little town in the old county down. In the evening when shadows are falling Round the old door without any key. There's a voice in my dreams ever calling there are eyes ever watching for me. There is someone I bless with a true tenderness, and her lips I'll caress when I bring happiness to that dear little town in the old county down it will linger way down in my heart though it never was grand still it's my fairy land such a wonderful world is set apart Oh, my island of dreams, you are with me, it seems. And I care not for fame or renown. Like the black sheep of old, I'll return to the fold. Little town in the old county town. Now we hand you back to Father Scanlon, and I'm sure he has questions to ask the class. Wasn't that delightful? Now we're going to change the tempo a small bit because we have a lot of very funny characters in this room and I'm sure that they have some very funny things to tell us. Is there anybody here who has got some good funny joke for us? Anybody got a good joke? No good no joke? A riddle? Anyone ask a riddle? James, have you got something over there? Your hand is off anyway. Which Prime Minister lays eggs? Which Prime Minister lays eggs? I haven't a clue. Anybody know it? Anybody? No? James, you have to tell us. Maggie Thatcher. 
Maggie Hatcher. Ah, oh, your chance here. <laughs> Very good. Anybody else got one for us? Yes. Why didn't Janine? the skeleton go to the dance? Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Anybody know? And because it had no body to go with. Because it had no body to go with. Aye, very good, very good. Tommy, your hand is up over there. Tommy, here. Why can't I send a telegram to Washington? Why can't I send a telegram to Washington? Anyone? Norma? Because George Washington is dead. <laughs> <laughs> one good reason, one good reason. Okay. And if N. Oh, sorry, John. Why couldn't the sailors play cards? Why couldn't the sailors play cards? You must tell me. Yes? No, because the captain was standing in the dick. <laughs> One good reason. Very good. Anybody else got something? Timothy? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken, Why did the chicken cross the road? Eddie? To get to the other side, man. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Anybody got a good limerick for us? Anybody got a, got a limerick? Eddie? A flea and a fly in a flue were imprisoned, so what could they do? Said the fly, let us flee. Said the flea, let us fly. So they flew to a flaw in the flue. You're a flyer. <laughs> oh, anybody else got something? Anybody else has done something already? Tommy? There was no one from who went for a spin on a broom. He went up so high that he started to cry and landed right into the tomb. A poor fella. Anybody else? And we'll just hand up over here in the corner. There was a young man in Mill Street who ate two goose eggs as a treat. But later, somehow, they started to row and blasted him up off his feet. <laughs> <laughs> so sad, isn't it? Any other riddle left? Any other riddle? All in his one has Ninety cups on a shelf. If one fell off, how many would be left? What's one for ninety? Me, I don't know. Eighty-nine? No? No? Will you tell me the answer? Who will tell me the answer? Please. Eight, 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 eight cups. Eighty cups left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give up to you at all. You're far too bright for me. Anybody else got one? Bed. Why did the man take the pencil to bed? They all know this one. Teresa, can you tell me? I don't know it. To draw the curtains, Father. Draw the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> yes, did he? Come on, anyway. Why did the man take a bale of hay to bed? Ah, he didn't, did he? Yes, sir. I don't believe you. Why did he take it? To feed his nightmares, Father. <laughs> feed his nightmares. Wow. <laughs> John. Why is Europe like a frying pan, Father? Europe like a frying pan. Martin? Because Greece is at the bottom. Can't hear you. Because Greece is at the bottom. Oh, very good. Thanks, Martin. Anybody else? Anybody else? You got someone? Yes? Margaret again. Oh, you gave a good chicken whiskey. You gave a chicken whiskey? Martina? Scotch. <laughs> Scotch eggs. I bet you would, wouldn't you? Okay. Tell me something. Who's the biggest rascal in this class? The biggest rogue in this classroom? They're all rogues. We can't decide on anybody. Who is? Nobody. Nobody. Who is there? You're all? Angels. You're all angels and wings flying, aren't you? Yes, <laughs> anyway, what are you going to be in a big man? I'm a farmer. A farmer? Yes. Why do you want to be a farmer? Well, I like doing it, farmer. Do you? Yes, sir. You'd swear he meant to wouldn't you? He probably never works at all. <laughs> Aye, he does. He's a great man. Who, who, um, what's Noel going to be when he's big? Farmer, farmer. Farmer too? Yes, farmer. My goodness. James, what do you want to be? Farmer. A farmer again? My goodness. Anthony? A farmer. Stephen? A farmer. Timothy? A farmer. Ah, you're not having me on, are you? <laughs> Orlin? A teacher. A teacher. Eh? Oh, we won't be all farmers. Sinead is going to be a? A nurse. And what's Catherine going to be? A teacher. A teacher? My goodness. What are you going to be, Mary? A nurse. A nurse. Oh. My goodness. That's great, isn't it? That's great. In the, cla in the other classroom while ago, I was highly offended. Do you know why? Someone told me I was about 60 years of age. 
Isn't that nice? What age am I about, would you think? Anyone give a guess? Timothy, what would you say? 99. 90 what? <laughs> Timothy Keller. <laughs> Only for something I teach you. But I have a good reason for that, I'd be afraid. <laughs> we might be put off the air. Anyone else give a guess? What age am I? Good man, Jerry. You're very, very nice to me. Yeah. Anybody else? Karen, what age do you think I am? About what? Am I older than you? Am I bigger than you? What age am I? I don't know. You don't know? Sure, I don't know either. What age am I, Marie? Sixteen. Sixteen? I. She hit it. I'm sixteen, of course. Very good. Our last song now is going to be Big Ian at Camarok, and we're all going to sing it together. Begin, Dr. Mark, the book, Big Tart. 